What are you going to do with some Andouille and a big old cast iron? Today is my first time making jambalaya. Let me know how I do. All right, you guys. So I have seriously never made jambalaya. And I want to know what you guys think at the end of this video. So the first thing I'm going to do, just cut diagonally through your sausage. Long pieces, just like that. So now we're going to fire up our cast iron pot. Throw in our andouille. Let that brown up. Let's cut up our chicken thighs. These are boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Take them right out of the pack, just like that. Just cut sideways through them. I know what you're thinking right now. Am I gonna cut all the celery, onions, and peppers on the same cutting board that I just cut all the chicken on? Well, yes, I am. Calm down, Karen. It's all getting cooked. We got everything cut up. Our andouille is browning up nicely. Grab our andouille out with some tongs. Set that to the side. Now we got this flavor pack grease in here. Go right in with it. All right, now, when I made my last gumbo, it was the best gumbo I ever made, and this is all I used. So I'm gonna see if I can take this one third of a bottle of the new Dano seasoning, that's the blue top, and make this entire pot of jambalaya with just that. So I'm gonna sprinkle a bunch right here on our chicken. That's gonna leave us about half of it left. You know what though? I gotta do it. We gotta add the spicy Danos. Hit it with the pop, 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 pop. I'm gonna let that cook for a good 10 minutes or so and let it get nice and browned up. We got some nice color on this. Let's go on and pull our chicken out. Just set it to the side. This is a brand new fresh container, four cups of chicken stock. So we're just gonna deglaze it a little bit. All right, look at that butter. Oh yeah, did I tell you guys that I'm totally winging this? I'm just freestyling in the kitchen. I kind of know how jambalaya is supposed to be made. So let me know in the comments how I'm doing. Now, we're gonna add some tomato paste. This is four and a half ounces. I probably squeezed two of them in there. Get that moves around. Now we're gonna throw in our Holy Trinity, which is our celery, green pepper, and onion. Give that all a mix around. We're gonna let this cook for three or four minutes and just get all those vegetables a little softened and let those flavors start to open up. You can always speed it up by throwing on the top. All right. Look at that, it's been a couple minutes. Definitely softened up. Got a whole lot of smells going on right now. We're gonna add our meat back in. Juice and all, get that all stirred up. Now here's where I'm kind of guessing at things. I'm gonna go in with about one and a half cups of Yasmin rice, pour that in. And I'm gonna add almost this entire container. I'm gonna save a little, because I don't wanna do too much, because if you do too much, you can't take it out. All right, there's probably half a cup left in here. Now we're gonna season this up with the rest of that seasoning that we have. We're gonna add the rest of that bottle in. And when you're out, make sure you go to our website or Amazon to get some more. Soon it'll be available nationwide, but it's not yet. And you know we're gonna give it a couple more pop pops of the yum yum red top, that's the spicy Danos. Make sure we get the seasoning all intertwined. It's time for the moment of truth to see how good I really did. We're gonna put the lid on and turn this baby all the way down to a low, and we'll see you here in about 20 minutes. All right, look at it. It's been exactly 30 minutes. I just wanna get a little sample of this rice here. If you're wondering what that beating is that you're hearing in the background, well, that's just the neighbors trying to kick in the door because they can smell this. We're gonna add the rest of this chicken stock. Lid back on, check it in 10 minutes. All right, y'all, it's been another 15 minutes. I think we're right where we need to be. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm gonna call this Dano's Jam and Jambalaya. Wow, it looks good. Get you some green onions, dice them up. Get you a big old scoop. A little bit of everything in there. Go in with our nice handful of scallions right on top. And that's your jambalaya. All right, my friends, let's go in. Let's get a little bit of this, a little sausage, a little bit of chicken. Right there, look, perfect bite. I need to know where there's a jambalaya cook-off because <laughs> Dano's jam and jambalaya might win it. That is seriously amazing. You guys, follow this recipe exactly how I just made this. That's crazy good. The rice is cooked perfectly. I think it cooked for about 45 minutes. 
wow, the whole recipe within an hour. Yum, yum, get you some. Let me know what y'all think. We'll see you next time. I'm sprinkling, my friends. I'm going to go sit down and eat this.